I would say Joe was kind of the quintessential um, artist. <laughs> he lived the, probably the most artistic life of anyone that, that I've ever found in me, of course, but anyone I know of. Um, you know, he, he was able to support himself as an artist from about the 1960s till he died in 2007. Um, and he, he really just lived a life where he painted it. Fortunately, good enough that he could support himself, you know, what kind of meager lifestyle. But I think that only added to his car. We want to talk about the artists that the museum is dedicated to. People may have heard the name or not, and they're curious, but this is the story of a man who came from Horse Cave, Kentucky, and ended up in Paris for the bulk of his career as an artist, who has fascinating stories about Pablo Picasso coming to his first art exhibit. I mean, so tell us a little bit about Joe Downing, the artist. Well, like you said, he was born in Horse Cave and spent, you know, his formative years um, in Horse Cave or in the area, growing up on a farm. Um, and I say formative because I see those years also as formative in a lot of his artwork. Often talked about, especially some of his later works, um, he would hint at kind of his childhood a lot in, in his work, uh, talking about caves, you know, that he would explore, uh, the Native Americans that lived on the really, really inspired by a lot of ancient culture. Um, and this actually you know, came about um, after he moved to Chicago and Europe and was able to visit a lot of the large museums um, and learn about them. He always had a special thing for Kentucky and for Native Americans that um, he would have been finding arrowheads and things like that as a child. Of and you see so much of that if you look very closely at his artwork. Mm -hmm. There's so much in that art. And he talks about, you know, growing up on the farm and being set free, but also the first time he visited the Art Institute in Chicago. And to him, he said it was like being set free again. He found yeah. his... right. a set free, I think, uh, barefoot in both places. Said, at yes. least more than barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, if you think about it, he kind of had the um, his formative years in Kentucky, running around, playing on the farm, um, you know, imagine kind of sort of people that lived there before and was able to go to um, these institutions and see artifacts, um, really learn about their history, kind of take that and put it into his art. So if someone has never been, you know, there is, it's the Joe Downing Museum, it's located in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and people might be just shocked when they walk in at, at what a lovely facility, especially surrounded by, by the Arboretum. It's free and open to the public, and it's such a great resource. What would you say to people about finding, finding out or exploring or experiencing Joe Downing for the first time? Well, a good place to start would be on our website. We have our, our web content available, and we actually have a documentary that uh, you were one of the producers on that is available um, on, on that web page. Uh, it's under it's called Virtual. Um, so that's a good place to start to really learn about Joe Downing. I think that's you know, an excellent uh, resource for kind of just jumping in and you learn pretty much his whole story. And then from there, you can kind of explore the content that we what would you, okay, last, last question. What would you say to someone, uh, something they never knew about Joe Downing, for those who think they know everything? What was something that surprised you? Oh, good question. Let's see. Um, one thing that I think is really funny, and his family might kick me for saying this, but in a lot of his letters, um, especially to his family, they would always talk about food. And <laughs> One of my favorite letters is from Paris when he first got there and he's talking about all the different things he um, and experiencing. And it's so neat to see kind of a uh, view of Paris in 1950s from the eyes of Joe Down. Um, how he lived. I love that. Through the eyes of a Horse Cave, Kentucky native who, you know, through his GI Bill, used that money to go and relocate to Paris and who had to ask his brother to tell their parents that he decided he wasn't coming back. Yeah. <laughs> he was going to stay 
stay in Paris and stay he did. Jack Lesser, director of the Joe Downing Museum, thank you so much for sharing just some insights into Joe Downing the artist. This is Coffee Near Me, I'm Barbara Deep coming to you via Zoom chat for my dining room. Keep the conversation going. Who would you like to sit down and have a cup of coffee with? Jack, thank you so much. Thanks. Absolutely, always.